So hello, my name is Peperonia, aka Konvalaria Cosplay, and I'm a 17-year-old cosplayer from Finland. Um, over three years, I started making my first cosplay in 2011, but wore it the first time in a little con called Tampere Kupli in May 2012, so almost four years, but not quite. I've been playing video games since I can remember, pretty much. And uh, on the sixth grade, my friend got me into anime and manga. And on the seventh grade, I probably saw the co word cosplay the first time. And when I looked it up, I just, I just knew that this is a thing I want to do. It sounded so awesome and something that I would love, really, like. There was no questions about it. Well, I've always loved dressing up, ever since I was a kid. Uh, but mostly I really enjoy the process of making the cosplay. Like, all, all the way from buying to different materials and fabrics and everything and looking at them and then starting to make, the, make it like from the patterns and then starting to sew and then starting to do all the other stuff and when the costume is suddenly get its features and everything it's just, an, just so awesome feeling to get it like get it ready and when it's finally like ready at 2 in the morning before con most likely it's it's just so awesome feeling <laughs> like I just love that feeling and of course I do love my cosplay friends a lot, like they are the most awesome people I've ever met. I've done a lot of cosplays, like a lot. They're probably something between 30 and 40, but to mention few. Uh, my first cosplay was Enma I from Hellgirl, still one of my favorites because it was first and I like it. Then Reno from Final Fantasy VII. It turned out good. It's for my third cosplay, I guess, but still using it for some reason. Then Asagire Reiko, one of my favorites too, from a game called Calling. My ultimate favorite, Aistea. It's my he, she's my uh, original character, and I really love her costume. I really put my thought into it and my heart and my everything, and it turned out really beautiful. Um, Eowyn from the Lord of the Rings series, one of her costumes. I made my first sword for her. Then Simbad from Simbad and Bogen. He's 14 year old version. One of my favorites because. He has this antenna thing <laughs> pointing out of his head <laughs> and I used to go around cons like when I'm wearing him like uh, going to random people and being uh, and pointing them with the antenna and shouting I detect gay and then running away <laughs> and looking their confused faces and of course my not latest but almost latest uh, cosplay is Dasava from Binanko Koji Kubo Abulava or Cute High Earth Defense Club or something <laughs> in English. He was just fun. <laughs> Nothing else but just fun. I make my cosplays myself because I have never bought a cosplay, so I don't know how it really feels like. But for me, making the cosplay is the, it's the great adventure in cosplay. I think that's the most important part for me to making the process, the challenges that it gives me, and those kind of things. If I buy a cost costume, I think I would feel like a cheater or something. Not, like, no offense for people who buy their costumes, but I would feel like that. Why do you cosplay? Because I love it. <laughs> There's nothing more to it, I just love cosplaying. Uh, of course, there are, of course I look up to every cosplayer ever because every cosplay is awesome because they put their 
their heart into their cosplays and I think that's something really awesome, awesome thing to do really. Not uh, not every hobby is like this. But if I have to mention a few, of course Kaname and Reika from Japan because I'm, I don't think in cosplay community there is a single person who doesn't look up to them. They are just like the stars in this cosplay, cosplay sky. They are pretty much, their cosplays are almost canon. That's <laughs> Nothing more to say about that. But if I have to say like one person specifically that's important to me, I would say Seibai from Finland too. And she was the first one I ever started fangirling for. I kind of found her from World Cosplay when I started. And the funny thing is nowadays we just hang out together and uh, go to movies casually together. And three years ago I literally, uh, literally fangirled over her like crazy. <laughs> it was awkward when I met her in real person. <laughs> it was really awkward at first. I just uh, happened to join the uh, same cosplay group, and then I realized, oh, that's Sabai. <laughs> it was for the first two months. It was really awkward, but then we started. Then I started to get over it, and and we're just friends. Yeah. I don't really see I don't really see why I wouldn't be cosplaying in the future because it's something I really love to do. I don't think I'm gonna, gonna change as much as a person that I would stop loving cosplaying. Of course, if the community changes so much that I start to hate it, then but I I can't see that see that happening because cosplay is just a big part of my life. Um, probably Asagi Reika from Calling because uh, she was my second, third, fourth cosplay, some, but one of the first ones. And I made her in school craft classes and everyone else in the world class didn't care shit about crafts. They were like, well, I'm gonna make these bed sheets, but I don't know how. And I was making Reiko's costume, and my teacher was so hyped up, hyped up about it that she helped me a lot. Like, she, um, she got so excited when I was like, how do you make these frills? Or how do you dye this fabric? Or how do you do this? And she got so excited. I loved her way of teaching me, and I learned a lot from that costume actually nothing went wrong with it and that's pretty pretty rare for a cosplay <laughs> what is cosplay oh the big questions um cosplay for me is a very dear hobby i wouldn't say my life goes around cosplay but it's something really important to me, like uh, it's on the same line in my priorities that uh, acting or theater and that's a lot taking that I study in a high school for self-expressing and performing arts so it's pretty high in my priorities of, in life but not the top ones so for me it's a hobby but it's a hobby that I uh, take pretty seriously. It's just something people love to do. If if I had to describe cos uh, cosplay for someone who has never heard about it or doesn't know about it, I would probably say something like uh, you just take a fictional character and look uh, look at his or her her clothes and her hair and everything, every like outer appearance, and then you try to make yourself look like that. From the tiniest little detail to the whole thing as well as you can. That's that's about it what cosplay is, but like in the core of course there is a, a huge hu huge community and all all that other stuff that goes around it and that cosplay goes around and everything like that. But basically cosplay is like it is just making a character come alive and that's about it.